Welcome to the tutorial on the Modular Configurator and Auto-Fitting Tools. The Modular Configurator can be found under the Window drop-down menus. There are three basic groups, Women's, Men's, and Folded Shirts. Selecting Women's, there are many block types, from jackets to trench coats. Selecting Shirts. Long Sleeve. There are many options in these blocks for different modular styles, but all the same base fit. Click them to bring them into the scene. You can replace assets with others in their same group to make quick design changes. Let's add these to a default avatar. Select the avatar folder and a female avatar to bring her into the scene. Go to the pose folder. Change her pose to the attention pose, this is the pose the modular mode assets are made with. Select Pose Only and then OK. Bring up the Modular Configurator window again. Select Women's Blocks. And then T-Shirts this time. I will select the rounded neck. And short sleeves. Turn on simulation to have the garment settle into place. The pattern pieces are in modular frames. This allows you to continue to replace pieces with others if you need to. To remove these frames, right-click the 2D window, select Remove Modular Relationship. After that, you can now use more modular assets if you want. For now, onto the auto-fitting tools next. To use the tools, both the avatar and garment need a fitting suit. Check in the 3D window, avatar and garment display options and garment options that they have a black and red one respectively. As long as both, the target avatar and the donor garment have fitting suits you can use the tools. Make sure the garment's particle distance is at 20. Then select the auto fitting tool in the 2D window. Keep curvature at 100%. Once done, select OK. This does two actions auto-fitting, and auto-target redraping. Once done, the garment is resized onto the target avatar. Aside from auto-fitting, there is another tool called retarget draping. This tool allows you to place a garment onto an avatar without changing the size. We will use this men's sweatshirt and place it onto Hannah for an oversized look. Make the particle distance 20 for the sake of speed. Make sure they both have fitting suits via the 3D display options. Then select Retarget Draping. And the sweatshirt is on Hannah. I'll turn off the hair so it sits correctly. Shown here, a garment can gain a fitting suit or replace its old one by being simulated and saved on an avatar with a fitting suit. Next is how to add fitting suits to your custom avatar. Fitting suits are for two-armed, two-legged, and one-head avatars, not intended for use with anything with additional limbs. To add a fitting suit to your custom avatars, go to File, Import, and select either FBX or OBJ file types. Select your file. Importing as avatar, and make sure to turn on Auto Create Fitting Suit. I know that my file scale is correct, if your scale is correct, you should load in an avatar with a fitting suit. Toggle on the View Avatar Fitting Suit option to check the quality of the auto-created fitting suit. If it looks good, you don't have to make edits and can start using the tools. If you need to fix or make manually a fitting suit, import as normal. I will toggle off the auto-create fitting suit option. To add a fitting suit, go up to the Create Fitting Suit tool and select it. The tool pop-up window will appear. Follow the instructions written and make sure to select the highlighted limb. Most often it will be on screen left. To create a reference line, click three times to create rings on the avatar in the corresponding locations as listed. Try to keep these as parallel to the ground as you can. Or where the true joints on the avatar are, these lines will determine your fit in the future. If you make a mistake, reselect the option, here I select the knee again, and remake the ring. Continue to work until the reference lines are completed. 
Select Apply to place the fitting suit on the avatar. Adjust as needed with the left mouse if there are any intersections with the avatar mesh. Select Save when you are ready. The saved avatar remains in the scene and you can now use the auto-fitting tools. Select Cancel or close the window. Now we can use the auto-fitting tools on this avatar. Bring in pants. Check for a garment fitting suit. You can use any avatar with a fitting suit with any garment with a garment fitting suit. Select OK. And we are done. It will retain this avatar's fitting suit information. So make sure to save as a new file.